you terribly. Menu Man says hi, by the way. So I was asked to do a virtual cooking class with you guys. So I chose a recipe that I think you all enjoyed last summer, chewy chocolate brownie cookies. So you should have gotten the recipe already from Leslie and have everything prepared as I do. Shortening, eggs, brown sugar, vanilla, flour, salt, baking soda, chocolate chips, and baking cocoa, which actually, I put everything in order of the recipe. So this actually goes after the flour. So you are going to also need, if you don't have it out already, a large bowl and a small bowl, because the dry ingredients are going to go small and the wet ingredients plus the brown sugar will go in the big bowl. Now I hope everybody washed their hands beforehand, okay, really well. And you will also need to make sure you have out all your measuring equipment. So the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375, which I have done already. It's ready to go. And the first thing we're going to do is measure out two-thirds cup of vegetable shortening into your big bowl. So I take it out with a teaspoon, or you could use a tablespoon, and you need your measuring cup to measure two-thirds. Okay, so two-thirds cup of shortening into your big mixing bowl. So shortening we're using instead of butter or margarine actually makes the cookies nice and chewy and probably even more fattening, but the more fattening, the better they taste. Right, kids? Okay, so after the shortening, you need your two eggs. Um, now you can all crack them on your own. Everybody always wants to crack the egg, so now you can crack your own egg into, oh, actually it was next was the sugar, but that's fine. It doesn't matter what order because everything's going in this bowl. So one egg, try not to get the shells in because that does happen from time to time. And the other egg. Okay, then we are going to do the one and a half cups of light brown sugar. So you get your light brown sugar, looks like sand, right? Can't wait for next summer, you guys. Okay, so this is one cup and then a half. And I've been baking all summer, especially chocolate chip cookies coming out delicious. I hope you're baking some things or cooking some things. Next is one teaspoon of vanilla. And here you go. You know, I always pour it over the bowl. If you get a little extra vanilla in the bowl, it's fine. Okay. Next is a tablespoon of water. I turn it. Okay, doke. So now you're going to mix it. And actually, hopefully, you can hear me. But actually, if you see on your directions and you're probably saying, no, Debbie, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, and you're right. It's okay, because you probably maybe did it the right way. You're supposed to beat in the egg with the vanilla and water. Now we put flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt in the other bowl. one and a half cups. One. And I used, no, this was fine, because we just used it for the brown sugar. Okay, a third a 
cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. teaspoon of baking soda. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Now the salt, I don't recommend you pouring over the bowl because if you miss and it goes in the bowl, the cookies will definitely come out too salty. Slowly, we're going to add to the bowl. This is when I would call you all up and you'd all get a chance to mix. So we're going to put a little bit in at a time. chocolate chips, you don't have to mix, uh, use the mixer. So just stir it all in. So stir it all up. Get those chocolate chips in there. And yeah, probably around now, I'm going around giving you all a chocolate chip because you're all asking if you could have one. And usually I always give you Okay, so now that it's all mixed, you are going to put your dough on an ungreased cookie sheet. Oh, I got it. Okay, so we're putting our dough two inches apart on the ungreased cookie sheet. It's just a spoonful. Just make sure they're apart enough so that they don't run into each other. Probably, usually we can fit a dozen on one sheet. And remember, don't lick the bowl, don't lick the spoon, don't lick your fingers, nothing. Why? Other than germs and that kind of thing, what's in here? Egg, right? raw egg make you sick so I know it's tempting but you definitely don't want to eat the dough raw no bueno no good all right and this is my last one I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about nine minutes and I'll be back when they're ready All right, nine minutes is up. Let's see what we got now. Listen, this is hot. Don't do this by yourself unless you're hmm, galealing up only. All right, I put it on the baking sheet on the cooling rack. So. I am putting them on the cooling rack probably a little too soon, but they're actually not falling apart on the spatula because I want them to cool because I can't wait to eat them. They look so good. Alrighty. All right, so I'm gonna let them cool for a minute and then we're gonna taste them together. So here we are. 
the final product. Can I taste? Of course you can. I'll take, take it. I'll take half. Okay, I'm gonna take half too. I'm excited. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Good job, Deb. Yay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Get a cup of cold milk, kids. Mm. Yum. Hope yours came out as good. Bye. Have a great rest of the year. Bye -bye. Stay well. I miss you.